hello you guys welcome into this reading so this is going to be an energy check okay whoever this reading is meant for i pray that it reaches okay a collective reading so no particular sign okay take what resonates and leave the rest keep an open mind and we're gonna get into it i will pull an astrology card because that's what i've been doing okay so we have house three already wanting to come out that is gemini energy and then we have uranus wanting to come out so quick quick cards that are coming out we have capricorn on the back of the deck so you could have capricorn gemini uranus rules i'm not sure sure let me know what uranus rules in the comment section it might be aquarius but i'm not completely sure capricorn energy is about ambition i like that that's coming out because i feel like i don't know if that has always been on this card because i wanted to kind of talk about that i was getting like mm, a clear stream of consciousness in regards to ambition like in the past days uh, realism and methodical steps so the underlying energy is like there's a fire being lit within you okay like a fire being lit under your ass to get shit done to put these methodical steps into place to get to where i want to be okay i recently i read a couple of chapters of think and grow rich this past weekend and it really helped me just get into the right mindset so I can put these practical steps into place so that I can receive the money that I want. And Capricorn is Saturn energy. Capricorn is an earth sign. This is like money. Okay, so okay, so your money, your career, your lifestyle could be changing here. With Uranus, we have radical change. And house three is that Gemini energy, networking, okay? And bringing to life maybe something that you've always known that you've wanted to do or this you know it's been a dream of yours but now you're actually going to start to put things get things in motion you're going to start to take this necessary steps to get what you want but this house three card it says early learning childhood relations the rational mind and communication okay so if you're not already doing that i feel like this is advice too but i definitely feel like this will resonate for you if you're already kind of in that energy right i hope this angle will be okay um let's get three cards we'll get a, also we'll get a crown a header i don't know what to call it a, a card that's on top of the reading okay yes a crown card for you as well as three cards for the uh for your strongest energies okay so let's get into it so four cards in total for the strongest energies tell me about this collective all right money money is on your mind okay i feel like that might be the title of this reading money is on your mind look page of pentacles wanting new money new yes new money pursuits new ways of getting money new ways of thinking that are going to lead you to success this could literally be a new job okay but this card is facing the past so it's like i do feel like you're just picking up something now and really starting to really like get something off of the ground that you've always had a passion about or maybe you started to do it but then you stopped and now you're really going to start to pick up the pace and you know do what you've always wanted to do fulfill your purpose here okay but it's like, it's like really this is like really taking the action okay action oriented energy really in that mindset of i'm getting shit done because that capricorn does not play that capricorn energy does not play if you're an earth sign you might know okay about this capricorn energy if you're into astrology you might know about it if you have friends that are capricorn you might know about it but capricorn energy does not play and if you don't know that's okay i'm here i'm here to tell you i'm here to bring you awareness but this is like money money being very focused on gaining success but it's also a very like i also feel like it's connected to your purpose so it's not just getting money for the sake of getting money it's 
like fulfilling your purpose and I'm also gonna get rich. We have the Knight of Pentacles reverse again. Some doing something, maybe you've been doing something, okay? You've been trying to get some sort of creative idea off the ground or you've been working in a certain career field, but it really hasn't like scaled. And so now it's like you're doing something in a different way doing something that you've been doing but in a different way possibly that's what i'm getting for that nine of pentacles reverse maybe you're becoming uh completely independent now maybe you've been relying on someone for whatever reason or relying on other people but now it's like you're gonna do it your way you're gonna finally trust your intuition okay be brave and do it your way becoming independent here okay and aries energy is significant we do have an aries new moon at the end of the week, I'm going to look exactly at what day it is right now on my phone. It's either Friday or Saturday, I believe. Let's see. Yep, full moon at 5.06 a.m. on Friday. So on the early morning of Thursday night, early morning Friday, okay? We do have a full moon in Aries, so very significant. And this is like, this is the energy. This, I feel like, is why... All this is happening. That full moon in Aries is going to be a catalyst for you to pursue what you're wanting to. Okay? And become successful. Finally. Look. Wow. Look at this. This is money. This is success. Yes, it is a devil card. I don't know how you exactly feel about the devil card. But in this reading, this is Capricorn. This is the money that I've been talking about. This is like a lot of money. A shit ton of money. So much money it would take you like years to count. Okay, this is the energy. If you're wanting to be successful, if you're wanting to be rich, if you're wanting to just live a luxurious life and be abundant, this is your reading. This is, you know, what you're creating right now. This is the energy for you and you're going to be receiving it. Okay, because you believe it to be so and you're going to be working, you know, you're going to be working and putting in the effort. And it's not necessarily that you have to work hard to get money okay this ten of wands reverse because i feel like you've done that before you've worked hard and you realize if i work seven days a week 24 hours a day it's not necessarily going to yield the results right life isn't necessarily just all about work 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 no there's a balance here but it's like working smarter not harder with this energy okay this you're getting the key to success here with this devil card yes This energy is money, but it's also connected to your purpose. Money, money, money. Money is on your mind and you are going to get it. Okay, getting into money consciousness, right? Some of you guys, if you do already have that book, Think and Grow Rich, pick it up again. I promise you, you will not be disappointed, okay? Pick it up again, read that book. If you don't have that book, look at this, the Six of Cups. What I'm saying is true. You're going to be money. You're going to be getting money. You're going to be receiving a shit ton of money. You're going to be fulfilling your purpose. Like, this is everything that you want. You're going to be connected to your soul's mission. I love these cups because they say stuff on them. It says, for rekindling love, for uncovering secrets, for past life regression, for promoting harmony, for encouraging comfort. This is peace. In the future, you're going to be at peace. And this is also a soulmate card. The devil card talks about like an obsession, an attachment. So you might be turning an unhealthy relationship to a healthy one. Okay. We will clarify these cards. Wow, the chariot. Mastering yourself. Going in the right direction. Having willpower. Success and achievement. This is the underlying energy. Forward movement in your career in your finances in your personal relationships radical change is happening for you in regards to even like inner child healing as well well this is a reading this is what i wanted yes finally some good energy this is very powerful card okay and you're in alignment here you're on the right path because we're in a seven year or in the year of the chariot know that you know with this double card here and with the chariot know that you will be getting tempted temptation is always going to be around you and it's about making the right choice you're always going to have choices always 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 every single day we have choices 
will you make the choice to make the right decision to take care of ourselves to choose love to choose our highest timeline you can affirm i am now living my highest timeline okay i want to start affirming that every day i am now living my highest timeline yes chariot cancer energy again capricorn energy with the devil card we already knew that though because we pulled the astrology okay don't feel like time is running out because i'm noticing this time here because capricorn is ruled by saturn you're on your own timeline don't compare yourself to others don't even compare yourself to your past experiences in your past self the only thing that is important right now is the present moment okay but don't think you're running out of time because you're on your own timeline i felt the need to say that okay follow your heart we have a heart here flowers like you're blooming this is your time to bloom okay so let's clarify these cards we'll pull some oracle at the end and that will be your reading page of pentacles clarify the page of pentacles for this reading clarify the page of pentacles so we have the nine of swords so you may be stressed so this is the energy this is like advice this reading may be advice for you this reading may be you know the sh the mindset that you're needing to get in again read that book think and grow rich if you don't have it get it i promise it's gonna help you it's gonna be like i don't know a 10 to 15 dollar investment that's gonna make you like trillions of dollars okay invest that little money into that book is going to change your life because the nine of swords talks about stress okay you, you, money is not on the frequency of stress so this is like radical change you're really you know you are changing timelines you may be getting out of you know a period of lack a period of stagnancy a period of where things weren't working but i promise you it only it, and, and things can change in a, in a moment things can change in an in, instant and that's what i see happening for you Again, your life force is being revitalized. Okay. Your life force is being revitalized. This is a new way of thinking. Okay. A new pursuit. Give me one more for this page of pentacles. We have the strength. Yeah, I just, I feel like the main thing is whatever, because I'm not reading for one person, right? There's gonna be multiples of you that could resonate with this reading. The main thing here is you limiting yourself with your own thinking. You have these days where you just feel like a lack of energy. So how can you get more energy? How can you feel more energetic, right? Energy can't be created or destroyed, only transferred or transmuted. So let's go back to the basics here with this earth energy and talk about our exercise. Are you getting the right amount of exercise? Are you moving your body? Are you eating the right foods? Are you nourishing your body and your soul as well? What are you entertaining on a daily basis? Where is your energy going on a daily basis? Are you drinking right the right amount of... Well, I didn't mean to say the right amount of water, but are you drinking the right amount of water? Maybe dehydrated, but are you actually drinking the good water as well? So this is a health aspect, I feel. It's going to help you gain that energy, okay? I saw this tweet and it was like, optimism is a sign of good health right you lack optimism right now at this moment and you may have your good days why this is all why this is coming up and why you're about to change your life is because you know you, you those good days that you have had and so if you are going to look back on your past i want you to only take away the good stuff because the past should be stepping stones for now and for your future and they should be making you better right stepping stones you're stepping up you're stepping up to your crown oh my camera is gonna die no this is not the time for my camera to die okay you are able to get what you want 
okay, who I'm talking to. You have the strength. The strength card is that strength, right? That physical exercise. You would be amazed by how working out helps other aspects of your life, how working out helps your finances. You would be amazed if you've never been in that energy before of having a consistent workout routine, of eating healthy foods, but you are able. You need to change your self-concept. Do your affirmations. It's all in your mind, okay? I'm telling you, you are able. You need to believe in yourself. You need to believe in yourself, okay? Start working out. Start with a couple days a week, okay? It doesn't have to be this long, hard, dragged out thing. It's It should feel good. It should feel healthy for you. You are able, okay? You are, again, changing timelines here. Oh, I hope I can get this reading finished before my battery dies. I'm not, I'm not going to rush it, though. If it dies, I'll charge it. Or maybe it'll die at the perfect time. Who knows? We have the King of Swords reversed. Unfactual information, I feel like you've been receiving in the past. And this is also, I feel like, not really being confident in your own intellect. Not being confident in what you believe and in what you want to do. So like I mentioned in the beginning of the reading, you might be becoming independent with your work and career. And you need to hype yourself up. You need to be your number one like biggest fan instead of your worst enemy because you're right you know you're right you're valid your dream your vision and what you know is valid and it's true you need to be consistent with your efforts stand on what you believe because it's going to generate a lot a lot of success for you i promise i'm not making this shit up i'm not telling you some random things okay this is the reading this is the energy this is for you Ten of Cups. Are you kidding? Ten of Cups clarifying the devil with the Eight of Pentacles on the back. Keep working on your craft. Please hold your vision. You are going to be a rich bitch or a rich guy. Okay, you are going to be very wealthy, very happy, and very content. Whatever your dream is, wherever your end game is, whether it's with a big family, whether it's just you by yourself, whatever you envision your life to be, you will get it. And you you're, are going to be working towards it. Every single day, you're going to be working towards it. Take it day by day. Like I said, you're not on a timeline. Take it day by day. 24 hours is all you have and it's very important. Hold your vision in your head. If you don't exactly know what your vision is, it is time to curate that. It's going to happen for you. Everything is happening for you right now. This is a very beautiful reading. Let me know in the comments if this is your reading, if it's resonating with you. Releasing hardship. You don't have to work hard to make money. You don't have to work hard to be successful. You don't have to, like it doesn't have to be painful and blood and sweat and tears. It's not that. You do have to put in the right effort. You do have to put your energy in the right places, but it doesn't have to be so tiring on your body and you're burnt out every single day. It's not that. Okay, learning to work smarter, not harder. And you're changing your life. You're, you're, there's a change of direction here for you okay all right we're at the oracle part we're at the oracle part let's see if i can get it all all right we have the charm of simplicity beautiful perfect you can be life path number one eight or nine perfect perfect i'm just gonna grab one of these for the sake of time i promise i did not rush the reading i would like to get different oracle cards but my battery's about to die, you guys. Be sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Patience. Patience. Yes, that is also Saturn energy. Patience. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with your growth. Don't beat yourself up. It takes time to build wealth. Okay? It, it may take a little time to get everything built up how you want it but you're building a legacy 